is part 98 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what's JavaScript minification. JavaScript minification is the process of reducing the size of JavaScript file by removing comments, extra white spaces, new line characters, and by using shorter variable names. Let's understand the process of JavaScript minification with an example. Here I have an ASP.NET MVC4 application. Let's add a controller and let's call it home controller. And now let's add index view. This view is going to be very straightforward. This view is going to ask the user to enter a number and then this view with the help of JavaScript is going to check whether if that entered a number is even or odd. So for the user to enter a number we need a text box. So input type equals text and let's give this text box an ID. So txt number and then let's include a button so input type equals button and let's give it an ID let's call this ptn submit and the value on the button is going to be submit okay so let's run this so at this point we should have an interface to enter a number Okay, so user enters a number and then once he clicks the submit button, we need to check whether if that entered number is even or odd. And we're going to do that using jQuery. So we need to reference jQuery file on this view. So within the scripts, I have this jQuery file. Let me drag and drop that and let's fix the source attribute to use tilde in the path. Okay, so we're going to write some JavaScript code here. Script type equals text slash javascript so dollar function okay so the first thing is we need to find this button control because when we click that button that's when we need to check whether uh, you know if the entered number is even or odd so and what is the ID of the button? btn submit. So let's copy that and let's use jQuery ID selector. jQuery ID selector is pound sign. So pound, find the control with ID btn submit. And then when somebody clicks that, execute a function. Okay, so what do we need to do when we click that button? We need to first retrieve the value that is entered within the text box. Okay, so let's use some a comment here to make our JavaScript code more readable. So retrieve the number from the text box. Okay, so let's use this ID selector once again. So variable number equals so what is the ID of our text box txt number so from the txt number retrieve the value so we are retrieving the value that the user has entered using this val function and then let's check if the number is divisible by 2 so check if the number is divisible by 2. So variable result equals number mod 2. Okay, so if if the result is 0 then we know for sure the number is even at which point we are going to alert a message. So alert number is even else alert number is odd okay so I mean very straightforward JavaScript code but instead of having this JavaScript within the page let's actually move it to an external file so let me right click on the scripts folder add a new item and we want to add a JScript file and let's call this custom JavaScript dot JS and click add and let's copy this piece of JavaScript code into that external file 
and let's get rid of the script tag from the view and then now since the custom JavaScript is present in an external file we need to reference that within our view and let's fix the source attribute to use the tilde symbol alright let's go ahead and run this and see if it actually works so let's enter 4 click submit look at that number is even let's enter 5 click submit number is odd so it's working now look at this we have this custom JavaScript file within the scripts folder let's actually open this scripts folder in Windows Explorer and look at the size of this custom JavaScript file look at the size of the custom JavaScript file it's 396 bytes as you can see here okay now if you look at this piece of JavaScript code that we have within this custom JavaScript file within this piece of code we have look at this extra white spaces there we have new line characters here and we have comments and look at the variable names there are several characters within the variable names now let's minify this JavaScript code and to minify this JavaScript code um, there are several tools available on the web let's actually go to Google and search using minify JavaScript search term and look at this there are several of them I'm going to get to this jscompressor.com and all we need to do is paste our JavaScript code here and then click this button so let's copy our JavaScript code okay let's compress that and look at this you know it has removed the new line characters it has removed the variable names uh, um, I mean it has shortened the variable names instead of using look at that instead of using number as the variable name here it says just E and then look at the result variable instead of you know using result it is just using a T and look at the comments they're gone okay so basically it removed the comments it removed the extra white spaces it removed the new line characters and it used shorter variable names so now let's actually add another JavaScript file and let's call this custom JavaScript dot min dot js and let's actually paste this piece of JavaScript code within this file and look at this now the entire JavaScript code is present in a single line okay now within our index view instead of using the non minified version this is the non minified version okay let's actually open the scripts folder in Windows Explorer and look at this custom JavaScript that is not minified is 396 bytes whereas the custom JavaScript which is minified is 178 bytes so the size is drastically reduced just by removing you know comments um, extra white spaces new line characters and by using shorter variable names so this is what is called as JavaScript minification now on our index view instead of using this uh, non minified version let's use this minified version so let's copy the name of this file and use that version here and let's run this and see if we get the same functionality as before so the functionality of this JavaScript code shouldn't be compromised in any way so if I enter 4 click submit number is even if I enter 5 click submit number is sort so it's working the same way as it did before okay but then the minified JavaScript file size is greatly reduced okay let's look at some of the questions around JavaScript minification so what are the advantages of JavaScript minification as the minified JavaScript files are very small they will be downloaded much faster and consumes you know less bandwidth search engines like Google considers page loading time as one of the parameters to rank pages okay so obviously the lesser the page loading time the better they rank you know in search engines and obviously you know if somebody requests this index view you know the JavaScript file needs to be downloaded onto that client machine from the web server it needs to be transmitted to the client 
and obviously the minified JavaScript files are much smaller in size so they download much faster and at the same time they also consume much less bandwidth. Is any of the functionality lost because of minification? None. And we have seen that in action. You know, we are at the moment using the minified version, but the functionality is exactly similar. Are there any tools available to minify JavaScript? There are loads of them in the internet. What is the difference between jQuery.js and jQuery.min.js? Now, if you create a new MVC, uh, application in the scripts folder you will see several jQuery files look at this jQuery there's a version number 1.7.1 .1, and then dot JS and then we have dot min dot JS so this min dot JS is the minified version whereas the one without the word min is the non minified version so if you look at this file you have several comments here there are new line characters and the variable names are lengthy etc so obviously if you look at the size of the jQuery file that is not minified so if you look at this jQuery file this is 252 kilobytes whereas the minified one is just 92 kilobytes okay and if you look at the minified version again look at that they were there I mean the white spaces are removed the new line characters are removed uh, they have used much shorter variable names etc as a result the file size is drastically reduced okay similarly we have unobtrusive Ajax and the minified version of that you know jQuery UI and the minified version of that so jQuery.min.js is the minified version whereas jQuery.js is the non minified version in your production websites always use minified files as they download faster and consumes less bandwidth and what is the downside of JavaScript minification? Obviously, they are harder to read and debug. So if you look at this jQuery file, look at the code there. It's, it's definitely difficult to read and difficult to debug. Okay. However, for development and debugging, we can use non-minified versions. And just before deployment, minify and use the minified versions on the production environment. Again, when it comes to debugging, let's say we're using the minified version within our index file. And let's assume there is some problem with the JavaScript code. And then we need to debug. What we can do is, on our development machine, we can reference the non-minified version, debug your application, and then obviously you will find a problem, and then fix that within that script file. And then minify that once again using the minification tools. And then before you deploy the application, reference the minified version within your view. Okay. So, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.